it's just the, the revolution in the world of technology that brought uh, Uber to where it is now. It just Gabby Zanu used to be a taxi driver, switched to a limo, and now supplements his income with rides arranged through Uber. He says the cab industry better adapt too. Today, they find themselves in a new reality. Uh, they got to do more for less. They got to have clean cars, professional drivers, and the ones that don't belong in the business, and there's many of them, uh, slowly, slowly going to find themselves all driving Uber or out of the business completely. In three of Canada's biggest cities, Toronto, Montreal and Ottawa, UberX is well established and its customers have embraced the app which connects them to drivers, often part-timers, using their own vehicles. Between Uber and taxis, what's your preference? Definitely Uber. It's a lot cleaner, it's a lot more reliable um, and the fares are cheaper which is like the ultimate thing that I think everyone goes for in the end. In my life, uh, I would say the Uber app has been pretty convenient when I'm not downtown, and that's probably more often than not. This is Uber X! Of course, ask the taxi industry about Uber, and they'll tell you it's illegal and should be shut down because it operates outside the many rules and regulations they have to deal with, from minimum fares to commercial insurance. This is the problems. They are not follow. They make their own rules and stuff. They are working. They, are, they don't have no insurance. They don't license, and they 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 are they are running a taxi. And so, in Ontario and Quebec, the frustration has spilled over, with cabbies lashing out at Uber drivers. If I see you again, you're dead meat. Go follow the law. Get a real job. At passengers. I'm, I'm calling the police right now. Yeah, Uber is illegal in Ottawa. Shit, shit, shit. And municipal governments, wondering why UberX is being allowed to operate. UberX and taxi cannot coexist with each other because they're the same service, they have to follow the same rules. While the battle between taxis and Uber continues in cities like Toronto, it's a much different story out west. In Vancouver, for example, Uber doesn't operate at all. In Calgary, they set up a license fee that Uber doesn't want to pay. And then there's Edmonton the one municipality in the country that has Uber rules that the company is willing to operate under. It hasn't come easy. In Edmonton, too, the taxi industry has pushed back, angrily protesting at City Hall. We don't need this this we don't need this. But it didn't deter the mayor. Uber used to be here, and Don Iveson says residents made it clear they want it back. Taxi services were not meeting the expectations of the public on a variety of different customer service fronts, but fundamentally my assessment is that we didn't have enough supply out there to meet demand, mainly because we hadn't added uh, cab licenses in many, many years, and we had a choice, which was we could issue more taxi licenses under the old and inflexible system uh, that has created some of the challenges we're in, or we could look to innovation. And so Edmonton has tried some innovation of its own, creating rules for services like Uber, including a $50,000 annual fee plus six cents a trip, requiring drivers to get special licenses, not the class five that most people have. And the big one, Uber drivers will need additional insurance approved by the province. Once that happens, probably this summer, Uber will return. So what if other cities follow Edmonton's lead and create a special set of rules which Uber is willing to follow? I put that question to both the taxi industry and the company. If Uber manages to achieve your vision for it, your company's vision, what will happen to the taxi industry? Uh, well, I think there's uh, probably a bright future for the taxi industry if they evolve, if they continue to compete, uh, which they're starting to do and, and they surely will continue. What happens if UberX wins out, if UberX is able to operate the way they want to in your city, what then? Well, I'll tell you, it's, it's the end of the cab industry, you know, and people say, don't be over dramatic, but it's not. I've seen what it's done in a year and a half since it's been in Toronto. It's absolutely devastated the industry, and that's why you saw the passion. It's going to be an absolute devastation to the industry, and we're going to fight tooth and nail to make this industry survive. And the next battle may be just a couple of weeks away. Across the country, a lot of people are watching Toronto, where city staff will be releasing its recommendations on how to regulate Uber. The question is, will they try to follow Edmonton's lead? Ian Hanamancing, CBC News, Toronto.